Hi everyone, thank you for joining us here on another edition of Colts TV News here at River Heights. I'm Taylor. And I'm Asmin. And today is Thursday, March 8th, 2018. Couple of things happening this week at River Heights. Future Colts from nearby elementary schools will be visiting our school today. Show them great behavior and courtesy of using the Colts way. The usual clubs will be meeting today. Check out, check the school's calendar for yours. And it looks like after school detention will, for Thursday will be meeting in the library. This just in Colts. PTSA will be distributing flyers for the teachers to pass out to all the students for the upcoming spring food drive. Students will be receiving a ticket like this one when they drop off items in the morning before school on March 19th through the 23rd, through the 23rd at the front gate or side gate. You'll be earning hero points as well and it's helping people in the community. So let's do it Colts! Yodot sales are going are still going on the lunch area and yearbook sales are still for sale right now in Miss Elby's room D205. Band has a big pre-festival happening next week on March 12th. The dual language 8th grade students will be visiting Roosevelt High School next week on March 14th and spring and promotion pictures will be taken on March 16th. March is known for the month that the hula hoop was invented and the awesome invention of Oreo cookies. But did you know it's also National Celery Month? Yes, that's right. <laughs> yes, that's right, Colts. Eat your celery. Okay, ready? <laughs> okay. Wait, I like mine with a little peanut butter on it and raisins. You know what they call that? Disgusting. No, ants on a log. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> it's really good and nutritious. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. Okay, okay. Okay. <gasps> oh, that was bad. Okay, okay, go. Okay. Hey, something fun is happening next week. It's Spirit Week, planned out by our ASB. Here are the daily themes. Monday, March 12th, it's PJ Day. Wear comfy, yet school-appropriate PJs. On Tuesday, it's Twin Tuesday. Wacky, it'll... <laughs> Wednesday, it'll be Wacky Wednesday, and that's where you can dress, in, dress up in mix-matched clothes and different color shoes, mis mi mismatched socks, <laughs> mismatched socks and other stuff be creative but leave your hair color the same. Too late. On Thursday the 15th it's hat day and that's where you can wear any style hat that is appropriate for school. And then it's the end of the spirit and then it's the end of the spirit week and on Friday it's lucky green day. You know since St. Patrick's Day it is the very next day on Saturday, so wear anything green. Hope to see your school spirit next week, Colts. You may even end up on Colts News or in the yearbook. So participate, follow the dress code, but have fun. Here's a heads up. Colts News will not be airing next week. We will be back on the air the following week, so please tune in then. And by the way, if your teacher shows you our news, shows during class tell them thank you for that you guys are a big part of our school and we here at colts news appreciate you hey 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 it's birthday time happy birthday to these colts cohen brine jordan hinojos emily summers juliana gonzalez Federico hernandez julian vermonte leilani white tanya carrillo marissa esparza nicholas nguyen De la, de, de la, Delaney, Delaney Postion, Brooke Valley, Colin Vaughn. Happy, Happy birthday, Colts! Hi, Colts. Austin here. I'm going to tell you about changing your clocks this weekend. Daylight saving times for 2018 begins March 11th at 2 a.m. Your clocks will spring forward one hour ahead, so that means changing your clocks one hour ahead will more when you go to bed on Saturday night. This means more daylight in the early evening and you'll be right on time. Back to your news decks by Colts.